Next up in the news is Measure A, where Elsinor voters have to cast a vote in a special election on May 2nd to decide whether the city will move forward with a popular new Arbor Hill amended and restated villages specific plan and a new development agreement agreed on by both the city and the builder last month or have that popular Arbor Hill plan replaced by Measure A that nobody seems to like, including the Arbor Hill builder. To help us understand what's going on with Measure A, Elsinore News has invited two in the news in the in the know Elsinore residents to give us their views. Steve Manos, a Tuscany Hills resident and Elsinore Council City Elsinore Council person who's been involved in the Arbor Hill project for some time, and Steve Martin, a current Arbor Hill resident who ran for city council last fall and is very much in favor of the Arbor Hill vision of expanded retail on Lake Street. Gentlemen, thanks to both of you for being with us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Steve Manos, let's start with you. Measure A is not really about whether we're going to move forward with the 8,000 home Albert Hill project, but about which Albert Hill project will move forward, right? That, that's accurate. Um, it, largely, the city has been working with the developer over a number of years uh, to put together the specific plan, which is the land use document that's necessary to go ahead and allow development for the project to move forward. Um, there are different ways that that plan can be uh, put together. So, um, uh, and not all of it has to do with the map itself. It could also go ahead and have to do with conditions of approval. It could have to do with the contribution of the developer or of the city, uh, standards for uh, transportation, standards for parks and maintenance and ongoing CFDs, public safety. And so um, there was a lot of debate and discussion about that over the years that had drawn on for some time, and it kind of built to a head. Uh, the developer decided at some point uh, to endorse a, at the initiative, which we are currently discussing now. Um, and in the meanwhile, the city had always had the door open. We were always negotiating, and, uh, and it came to the point where we had come up with a mutually beneficial agreement. Both sides are really happy with that. And um, I would also add that the initiative for the developer appears to provide a lot of inflexibility. And the reason is, is that if you pass something by initiative, the problem is, is that you can't change that unless you go back to the vote of the people to get it changed. Mm -hmm. This is incredibly damaging for the developer because if they sold the property and say the new person wanted to go ahead and change some things, or let's just say 20 years down the line there's something that not, nobody anticipated it causes a problem with the land use plan, you can't go to the council to apply to make a simple change. You would have to then go back to the people, collect the signatures, and you know maybe people aren't happy with the mm -hmm. development, maybe people are worried about water, or maybe people are worried about a lot of the other things that they're usually concerned with in terms of development, then it would become impossible for the developer to move forward at that point and that's problematic from their perspective. So this is a win-win for both sides. We're really happy that we were able to go ahead and break through that. Um, and now we're joining hands, we're locking arms, and we're mm -hmm. moving forward, and we're going to go out and we're going to defeat the initiative now. We need the people of Lake Elsinore to help us with that. Great. Councilman Manos, thanks. Steve Martin, the Albert Hill initiative that became Measure A was championed by Elsinore residents such as yourself, who wanted the new retail in Lake Elsinore, which seemed to be popping up everywhere except in Lake Elsinore. Do all the people in your Live Lake Elsinore coalition see the recently approved, amended, and restated Albert Hill Village's specific plan and a new development agreement as the best plan? Or is there anyone in your coalition that still believes Measure A is better than the recently approved plan by the city and the builder? Yeah, a, uh, a no vote on Measure A is really what is uh, the best representation for the city and for all Lake Elsinore residents. Um, the Measure A was developed to bring about the project to its fruition initially uh, because of the problems that they were having between development and city and all of the years of, of uh, working that the, uh, that the two were trying to work out, it just made it easier for the developer to try to just take it to the, to the initiative level and try to get it done. But as Mr. Manos has said, that there was always the ongoing discussions to try to work out an agreement between the city and the developer. And back in 
February, it finally came to pass where the developer and the city were able to move together and work together to finally come to a, a, an agreement that makes sense for everybody concerned. So the Measure A, it, although it's still on the ballot, is not the best alternative. We need to go out and make sure that Measure A is defeated. So I encourage everyone to vote no on Measure A. The coalition encourages everyone to vote no on Measure A. Measure A is not in the best interest of the city, it's not in the best interest of the developer, and it's not in the best interest of the citizens of Lake Elsinore. Great. Steve and Steve, thanks for sharing your thoughts with us. No problem. So folks, you're here to hear from Elsinore residents previously on opposite sides of the Albert Hill Plan. Everyone's in agreement on the new and approved Albert Hill Plan. The only thing left for us residents to do is defeat Measure A on May 2nd, so the mediocre Albert Hill Plan represented by Measure A doesn't replace the better Albert Hill Plan recently approved by both the city and the builder. That's all the time that we have for the news in this segment. Please see the rest of our headline news at www.elsnornews.com.